Howdy folks, Moose here. I've had one heck of a lot of great questions, basically stemming around why I have evolved to the Profoto A10 after all these decades. Well, I thought I would do a video to answer that question, getting to know the A10 Profoto Flash. I understand that light is really everything to my photography. I use it in every shape, form, color, methodology I can to help tell my story. It's essential. I mean, the root word of, basically the root of the word photograph is right with light. And being a visual storytelling, light is everything. So this round light really changed basically everything I did when it comes to using flash. Now, light. Uh, we all know from the basics. I mean, let's just take this photograph of Ryan out in front of the Stearman. You can see what it looks like prior to the flash being brought into the scene. And then, bop, there you go. Pop that light. Look what happens. Not only to Ryan, but to the 450 Stearman in the background. I mean, I popped up a quick little, you could say, portrait studio at Artist Point in Yellowstone. And my beautiful bride, even though she doesn't, really was kind of reluctant, stood in for me to take a basic shot and then to pop in the pro photo through an octa and wow, what a difference. I mean, you can even see when I did, uh, I did another pop-up gallery. I had a group of uh, photographers at Philmont Scout Ranch shooting the night sky. I said, let's do quick portraits. And they were blown away when I put up the, the pro photo and took their photograph with the Milky Way. It's just an amazing, amazing light. Okay, so what is it about the Pro Photo A10 that makes it all, you know, so amazing to me? Well, first, it's important to understand that you have a round, a round light. I mean, ever since the days of Vivitar, I've used, like everybody else, that very slim, rectangular light source. The sun's not rectangular. The sun is what? It's round. That's why we've been using light modifiers forever. It's because we're trying to emulate or meld or integrate with that natural light source, the sun, the flash. Now understand that for myself, the flash, okay, I'm not using it uh, like an uh, advertising photographer. A lot of times it's, it, I mean, most of the time, I should say, it's never the main light source. It is, well, I am melding light. So this round light source, okay, naturally emulates what we're seeing. It's very soft. And as my telephoto flash video demonstrates, like when I was down in Australia, I used it for photographs like the Australian King Parrot uh, and the um, uh, Bowerbirds. And, you know, it just, the list went on and on of the different birds. And, and you can see this, I'm kissing the bird with this gorgeous light to bring out the color. That's probably the main use I, I use for this. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work a number of projects that I do with the Pro Photo A10. I mean, here's the kind of the classic example. My good friend Addison working on this N3, N-3 um, restoration job. Now, this, this plane is very unique, and I want to bring out the uniqueness in all the basically restoration photographs, be it the long shot, you know, looking over the fuselage and the A-10 is up high. It's shooting through the Octa. I'm using the small rig light stands, which I really love. And then, of course, when I get close up and he's working on a small detail. And, and with the light that he's got that is working on the detail or using him to help the work on the detail is not bringing light to, to him. He was in total shadow. So, again, Pro Photo Octa kissed it. So those are kind of the two main lighting reasons that I'm bringing the Pro Photo A10. So probably wondering, hey, why the Pro Photo? Because there are a bunch of knockoffs. And yes, they are knockoffs. Point blank. They took the engineering and ideas from Pro Photo and they made their own, which I never get behind. And you know that. That's just me. Um, but the Pro Photo. I've taken this to, to minus 30, and I've taken it to about 93, 94 degrees. Not an issue. I've taken it 
uh, almost 100,000 miles, the, the kit that I'm gonna show you in the luggage. It's just, it just works. And this poor flash, this one here, um, it went <laughs> when I did that shot with the Milky Way, it got knocked over, didn't, kept on going, okay? Great stuff, it's built to keep going. Main reason why I spend the money from the get-go. It works, keeps on working. Now, what do you get when you buy the Profoto A10? Let's start there. Well, you get the flash, okay? And then you get the case. And the case, I love the case. Um, I have a couple, I have them, I can see I've got the numbers on them. So I keep track of the units, the flash, even the batteries in them have the number. And in the lid, in the lid is something really good. What is it? Ah, the dome. The dome, a really nice way to modify the light. We're gonna get to that more in a second, okay? So, light modifier, really good. You get the case, you get the dome. What else you get? You get, I don't really use it much, but I do keep it in my kit. You get the uh, bounce light adapter that comes with the unit. Very slick, very clean, very, it just works great. What else do you get? You get the stand, the stand, okay? You know what stand is, don't need any more uh, information. Now, and depending on how you buy it, and I'm gonna recommend the first time you buy it, no matter what brand camera you use, they work with every brand, but you need to buy the ones that work correctly. So for the Nikon, um, I got it with the Pro Photo Connect. Now, why do I have the Pro Photo Connect? For, I'm gonna say probably 75% of what I'm shooting, I'm shooting with just the one Pro Photo over the Z400 4.5, like you see in the video. And with the, the um, Pro Photo Connect, I can bring it to my eye, and if I'm wearing a baseball cap, which I often do, this won't knock into the baseball cap. And it gives me off, a very important feature. Also gives me manual and TTL control. Very cool. We'll talk about that more in a moment. I also have uh, the Air Remote. Now, the Air Remote, why that? Well, keep in mind that I have the complete, pro oh, I shouldn't say complete, lordy. I don't know anybody has the complete, well, maybe one person has a complete system. I have uh, the B10s, the B2s, a number of other big studio light, but keep in mind that this is, as far as I'm concerned, a studio light. Uh, and this will let me work with all of those units um, from the camera. I can change, uh, it has up to, I believe, 20 channels. Each channel has four groups. And that's a lot of flashes you can control. Now, you can imagine, though, in the hotch of the camera, this would, you know, be hit by a baseball cap or brim. That's why I have the uh, Pro Photo Connect. The other unit that they have available for, for triggering, and these three units I'm talking about trigger the Pro Photo uh, A10 along with the other units. The other one, which I'm really considering after this last week shoot in the studio, is the Connect Pro, which is a little bit physically bigger, but has everything you need to do everything you can imagine with a Pro Photo line. It's just simply brilliant. So that's what basically you get. And then when you buy that first Pro Photo, get it with the correct uh, trigger device that you want. I highly recommend the Pro Photo Connect to start with. And then this is careful, uh, very, very important. Be careful when you go and buy your second and third. Um, yeah, I've done that already. Make sure you have you buy just the flash without that trigger, that Pro Photo Connect, whatever system you decide to go with, whatever trigger you decide to go with, excuse me. So that's the basic package. All right. Now in that package, what have you, you know, what can you do? Well, another reason, and this is reason number two. So number reason I got this, the beautiful light that comes from this incredible unit. The second probably on the top 10 list of why I went with the Pro Photo is this bad boy right here. Okay, it's the battery. I gotta tell you, I is so tired of dealing with AA batteries. It's like, it's, it's, you know, so with this, no more AA batteries. This battery, uh, which you can charge in less than two hours, will give you, um, by their stats, 450 full capacitor, 
flashes from this unit. And as I mentioned in the other video, I'm getting around two to 3,000 flashes when I use it just to kiss that bird for color. Basically, that's all day shooting. That is all day shooting from this unit. And the charger for it is not really much bigger than this, and that comes with the flash when you buy it. So, you know, boom, this is, this is really, this is a bad boy, okay? This is great. Recycle time, bam, 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 bam. You can put it in continuous high. And I mentioned, you saw a picture of Sharon there at Artist Point. Well, I, I ran my, my friends through this little portrait studio I did. Had the camera, the Z9, on continuous high. Shot 10 frames as fast as it would shoot 10 frames. This put out the perfect flash, all 10. Boom, I was done. That's the kind of power and recycle time this bad boy has. I love it. But let's get into kind of specifics. I'm going to put the A10 into a Profoto Octa. Got my good friend Stanley, a really talented, talented photographer who doesn't like to be in front of the lens any more than, than I do. And down at Philmont Scout Ranches last fall, do a quick little demo for everybody. And here's the shot, the final shot. You can see that A10 through the Octa gave us beautiful light on Stanley while including the sun in the frame. Yeah, that is, that's big time power. 76 watt second power. Blows away any rectangular kind of flash. It's just a beautiful thing. Now, this power that comes with this unit and, and the way you can use it, it's all regulated through the back. So you have a white button, you're gonna push it, and a little wheel will tell you to, to turn the control wheel that turns it on. Now you can look at the top and you can you'll see that it says 10. That 10 might be the only thing that takes you a second to understand the pro photo. That's full power. And if you take it down to nine, let's see if I can do it backwards and looking at the monitor and I'm gonna get close, there's two, zero, and I got to nine. So I've gone from 10 to one. I've actually cut the power down by half or you could think of it as basically a stop of light. This bad boy has nine stops and you can take it up or down, fine tune it within two tenths of a stop every time you shoot. Really fine tune your exposure. That's a beautiful thing. That's why a lot of people go, I didn't know you use flash boost. Well, that's because I fine tune it so much that it just is kissing the subject and by you know, that very definition, it's not like smack you between the eyes that moose use flash. It's just, it's amazing power. What else can we do with this thing? Well, that's a great question. Now I mentioned that it has those three triggers. It has the Pro Photo Connect, that's a little round dude, size of a uh, 50 cent piece. It's got the Air Remote, and then it's got the, the newer Connect Pro. The fourth method you can use to control this is your iPhone or iPad. Yeah, it has Bluetooth connectivity. That's what's really cool about the A10. So you can do almost everything except for actually fire the flash when the camera fires. It can fire the flash, but not when the camera fires through that app. In fact, you can actually control this and fire it with your iPhone. That is really cool. Not my thing, but if you go check out Dr. Brown, he's made some real magic with this whole system. So you have those four triggers and that Bluetooth connectivity is can be really important. Let's say, for example, you uh, pull the flash out and it comes from the factory A uh, in, in channel uh, group. All right, Moose, get together here. And uh, channel one, group A. Woo, that took a long time. Okay, 1A, that's what you'll see on the flash. And if you have got your uh, Pro Photo Connect like I do, then, you know, it talks, it goes, and blah, 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 and you're golden. But let's say you have Harry and Chuck, Chuck and Auntie and all these, and Pat and all these other people out there shooting, and they're all shooting the Pro Photo and the Pro Photo Connect, which I do, because a lot of, of the people I shoot with have now gone from their rectangular to the beautiful round tube of the Pro Photo. And for all on 1A, and I go click, I'm gonna have bing, 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 flashes going throughout the forest. Uh, I'm talking from experience. How do you do that? Pull out your iPhone, boop, 
and you go, okay, and it will talk to the uh, Pro Photo Connect as well as the Flash. And I say, I want uh, channel four, group C. Bop, bop, bop. Just that fast, you are now on your own little channel on group. And when you take a picture, all the rest of the group flashes are not going off. Unless you're a little devious, like somebody I know who did that as for fun. Anyway, so you have that ability with these flashes as well, which, you know, the app is free, comes with it. Another beautiful thing about that, that app, I, I cannot uh, stress this enough, is that you can upgrade the firmware. And ProPhoto is really great, really great at aggressively updating the firmware. I don't know what Voodoo it does, but it does good stuff all through that app. What else we got going? Well, let me talk about uh, the zoom head. Now, the zoom head, uh, you do have a little small icon. You got icons for the various zoom positions. You can change the zoom by simply rotating the dial here at the top of the flash head, or you can do it via the app. I tend to set it at uh, via the app most of the time, uh, simply because with my uh, my my eyes and needing reading glasses, it just is faster for me to pull up the iPhone. What else? Well, let me show you one thing I really love about this. Okay, it has a full ninety degree tilt, but look, I can leave it anywhere I want. There's no click stops; it just stops wherever I have it positioned. Love, love, love that. As well as the body rotates 360, okay? So if you have it connected to something like an Octa, but you want to see it from the camera for whatever reason, you can turn it and see it. It's just amazing. It's simplistic. What else about this? I demoed it in the very beginning uh, in a kind of a, a moose childish way, but it does have, okay, this continuous LED light that you can use okay, for filming video. Like right now, there's a A10 uh, through an Octa over the camera, and that's what's lighting me for this video. <laughs> I love this thing. It's brilliant. What else? Well, the same little light, okay, that you use for, you know, constant light, which you set through the app for Flickr. You can also use it as a modeling light, and it also has the AF illuminator built into the side of it right here in case you need to photograph in darkness and have the camera still autofocus. Wow. Okay. What else? Well, you got more. Let's get to um, simplistic things. The connecting to the hot shoe. It has simply a rotating collar. You just rotate it and you are locked on. Whether you put it on the camera hot shoe, not my favorite thing, or some other device, it's perfect. But let's get to what really makes this sucker sing, and that's the click. I love the click, the click. All right, so bear with me two seconds while I do a quick little change. You can see it right here. Here's the click. Now it takes strength because it's got earth magnets, but ah, this puppy, let me show you, just clicks into place, pops off. Ah clicks into place. I love that. So the dome, the dome clicks. Got to have a little bit of muscle strength. Ah, pops off. Clicks. Okay. Boom. Of oh, the click. Okay. Now that brings me into what? The kit. The kit. So as the stuff piles up, so the kit. I have kits for all my flashes. And the kit is in the bag that comes for the Octa. So let me bring back my Pro Photo. Here's the Octa. All right. Okay, let me see here. Just so I could be really kind of, uh, you know, artsy crafty. I'm going to click it in there and I'm going to turn on the mounting light and I'm going to hit the dial. Look, I can tow down the mounting light. I can make the change the. I just love this thing. Anyway, here's the Octa. I love the Octa. It is a beautiful light source. You just saw it in a number of photographs. Okay, well, the Octa. Let's talk about this for a second. Comes in this bag. Gotta keep in mind that when I go out shooting, I am shooting strictly by myself. Uh, 
I don't have uh, assistance. It's just me and I'm working on a project. Most of the time I'm working around aircraft in a hangar, which means I have limited space and I have to be careful of everything I do so it doesn't damage anything. So here's the Octa, taken out of the bag. Seriously, okay, this is the Octa. Here's the beauty of it. First, you have a quick release collar that goes right on any light stand. Just rotate it, you're right on, rotate it, comes off. Next, you wanna assemble the Octa. It's got a ring, goes up. There's an Octa. There's an Octa, there's an Octa. Octa, 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 everywhere. Okay, are two Octas still an Octa or is that something else? Anyway, so, wanna close the Octa up? Done. There's no needles to thread through anything. There's no silk to put on a Velcro. Just that quick. Did you miss it? Pull it up, down. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, what else is in my kit? That's really cool. They've really thought this stuff out with the uh, Pro Photo. So let's say, for example, you've got your flash, okay? And it's on here, and you look and you look at the light coming from the Octa, and you say, hey, that's not really soft enough. What can you do? Seriously, this quick, pop it down, take your dome. Dome clicks on there, boink. Take your flash, click it back on there, and you now have super softened that light. You have the flash and the, octa, the dome all inside the Octa. That fast, beautiful. Let's say that's not exactly what you want. You want something more. Well, they've got more. So they've got a number of kits. The first one I picked up is the, boy, these earth magnets, is the, ah, the 20% grid with the full and half cut CTO filters, which again, are the earth magnets. And you can put this inside the Octa, put the flash on there, somewhere I've got a flash, you know what they look like, and boom, you can instantly, instantly modify that light even further. What about that dome? Where the dome? Oh, the dome's in here. You can, if you were really, oh, you could take these flashes or these modifiers, put them on the flash with the dome. Look at that. So there's a 20% grid with a half and full cut octa with a dome. You would never do that, but it's a video. I get to be have fun and be silly, right? You can put them all on there and then change it that fast. Oh, God, I love this stuff. Okay, um, in case you miss it, there's the Octa. Back up. Woo one click. All right, what else the, the kid have it? The other thing my kid has, and I'm telling you, I love this. This is one of the best things yet. It's in this little case right here. A snoot. You can do a snoot. Now, Maggie runs because I kind of use it this way as a megaphone, but when you put it on the flash, okay, right? Where I put the flash? Got way too much stuff. This goes, right? And as you can imagine, you could put the other modifiers between the snoot and the A10. Brilliant, okay? Absolutely brilliant. I mean, this is wow stuff, okay? This is wow. And, and it goes on from there. What else can you do? Well, they have, um, they have, uh, I haven't got it yet, but I've, after this last week, I'm thinking about getting the click barn doors. Yeah, they have barn doors that just click on here. Uh, they have other color effect clicks too. Um, I'm not a color effects kind of guy, uh, but they're available. Uh, what else can you get? Um, well, uh, if you're gonna start out, I would definitely say to get the flash, the uh, Pro Photo Connect, and then get the Octa. That's a great starting kit. And I would get the small rig uh, light stands. All right, what else we got going here? Well, keep in mind that th this, this package is about 1.2 pounds or so. Um, so it's, it's a little bit on the heavier side, but you get a lot of versatility. Like I mentioned, you could put this in the hot shoe, um, no problem, or off camera, which is what I've been showing you. And when it comes to getting exposure, uh, well, I should also mention that uh, that photograph like of Stanley, yeah, the camera was in high uh, speed sync, which 
is obvious in order to get the sun, but in case you weren't aware. So your camera, will, you just set your camera through the menu, high speed sync, away it goes, just like normal. But when it comes to actually using it, this is reason number three why I have evolved to Profoto A10 is literally the ease of use. I mean, I just showed you the entire uh, click universe for the Profoto A10, uh, which is all brilliant stuff to me. But when it comes to actual going out there and making things happen, this is what I do. So I've got the flash, got the camera, I've got my uh, Profoto Connect. I simply just turn on, the first place I go is I put it as a TTL. And I take a picture. Now, when I take that picture, I should back up. The first picture is with no flash. No flash. I'm going to take a photograph and get the ambient light exactly how I want it. Exposure, white balance, everything, you know, to tell that story. Then I'm going to put this to TTL. Take one picture. Boom. Pro photo goes off. TTL nails it. Bam. And then... <laughs> this is the beauty of it. This fast. Let's say, just for giggle's sake, let's say that TTL it says 7.8 on the back. All right. That's what it says. That's how much power it needs to flash. I just take this and I turn it to 6.8. Boom. I then turn my Pro Photo Connect to manual and I shoot away. That's it. We're done. I am in and out that fast. And I'm going to tell you, my clients cannot believe the speed in which this all happens. They're used to other photographers coming in with a lot of lighting gear, spending a lot of time. And, the, you know, it, when I come in that fast and just go, wham, bam, here's your picture, ma'am, they think I'm just a stud. And I'm not. I have just spent the time and money to get to know the Pro Photo A10. It's a great flash, folks. I, I highly recommend that you first rent it, give it a try before you go out and actually buy this thing, and then have the time of your life adding flash to photography. Quick, simple, and effective way of telling your story. Thanks for dropping by, and remember to make every click your story.